We've all heard of terms like no nut November and semen retention, but what does the science actually say about specifically semen retention? And that's what we're gonna get into this video. And I'm actually gonna go over five key scientific facts so that you guys are not completely bamboozled by those gurus out there who say, oh, semen retention, you need to not ejaculate for months and months and months. But what does the science actually say about it? And that's what I'm gonna get into this video. So keep watching because these five facts are pretty fascinating. All right, if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Kane, I'm The Silver Bachelor. This channel is 100% dedicated to dating advice for older guys. And if you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button and the notification button because I'm dropping a video every day. All right. Terms like no nut November and semen retention go kind of hand in hand. And what that means is no ejaculation. So no nut November is, you know, kind of a new thing. And with men not ejaculating for one month for all kinds of so-called benefits, same with semen retention. All right. And the thing is semen retention goes back thousands of years, like ancient Chinese philosophy, Indian culture and a couple things that they teach is that ejaculation depletes your energy and life force, or it's considered precious body fluid that needs to be preserved. All these things, right? The gurus behind this, right, on YouTube, there's guys that are saying, oh, you know, you'll get increased testosterone. Oh, you'll have increased mental clarity, increased mental concentration increased quality of sperm on and on about the physical benefits of semen retention. But what does the science say? So I'm going to get into five facts and I was inspired to do this because of a video that I watched from Dr. Rena Malik. So Dr. Rena Malik, she's on YouTube. You can check her out. She's a urologist and she has over 2 million subscribers. So not only being a doctor and urologist, but she has a big following. And then she talked about some of these things, but I decided to summarize it, do a shorter video and go over these five scientific facts, okay? So based on some studies that she talked about, there is no physical difference with abstaining and having semen retention beyond one week, okay? So some of the studies that she was talking about, uh, these guys went without any ejaculation for 21 days. And basically, there was no physical difference. The only difference actually was that they experienced more pleasure during the act of masturbation or sex, which, duh, right? If you go three weeks without an ejaculation, oh, hell yeah, it's going to feel better after three weeks. But other than that, number one, there was no physical difference in the um, holding your your ejaculation for 21 days based on this study, okay? So there was no increase in testosterone and there was no increase in sperm volume, right? So number two is, I touched on that earlier, that the only difference is that there's a physical enhancement of pleasure, which of course there's going to be when you haven't done anything for three weeks, right? Number three is, so this is interesting, is that your testosterone, if you ejaculate, it takes seven days for your testosterone to reach your height, heightened point after that ejaculation, okay? So after seven days, your testosterone, your testosterone will drop a little, little, little bit. And then it goes back up to that level in seven days, and then it just stabilizes, okay? So that's number three. And hey, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a urologist, I'm just summarizing this information for all of you for your own sake because there's a lot of talk, like I said, about semen retention, no nut or November and all this stuff. All right, number four, the only risk of, because some people talk about, well, there's all these potential risks of semen retention. Well, the only risk, this is the number four point, is potential blue balls, right? Which, duh, of course, right? I mean, you guys know, when you haven't had a release and you've been all jacked up, you know, from foreplay and stuff like that, you could get blue balls. So that's one of the risks with having with semen retention. 
for too long, each person's individual. Some people it's like a week, two weeks. Some people it's just a few days, but blue balls is a potential thing. And then last number five is this is the only thing that's actually proven to increase testosterone naturally with respect to any kind of um, natural thing that you're going to do outside of pills and outside of working out, okay, is actually when you have actual physical sex, it's proven to increase your testosterone a little bit. And when you engage in combat sports with another man, right, that also has been proven to increase your testosterone a little bit. Here's the thing. Men lose 1% of their testosterone every year after the age of 35. So that's a lot. And the men today, they estimate have at least 50% less testosterone than the men in the 70s and 80s. And if you don't believe me, just go online and look at school yearbooks, right? You look at a school yearbook of, of kids in the 70s and 80s versus a school yearbook in 2024, the time I'm recording this video, the, the kids in 2024, they look like little boys. The kids in 1970s and 80s, they look like grown ass men with mustaches and everything. So clearly there's something going on and there's no hard facts on this one. I'm just gonna go put myself out there and say, it's mostly in the food, right? All the shit that they're giving cows and chickens and all the feed, they're manufacturing this food right with estrogen because estrogen makes cows and chickens larger so you can go research that this is a true thing water uh, there's yes there's chemicals in our water but i'm convinced a lot of it is in the food and specifically the feed that they're giving these animals okay so uh so men just naturally have less testosterone today than they did in the 70s and 80s and so you guys, as you're getting older, need to consider what are you going to do to increase your testosterone so at least you're staying at a level that a 30-year-old man essentially would be, or 25 to 35-year-old man would be, okay? Yes, you can consider testosterone replacement ther therapy. I'm not doing that. M maybe someday I'll think about it, but here's the thing. When you're on testosterone replacement therapy, is after, I don't know what the time is, I guess it depends on the person, but basically after like a year, two years on this, your body stops producing it naturally. So I don't like that. It's expensive. Some people would say, oh, it's totally worth it. But so instead I do, and I'll post a video of the supplement stack that I take. It's a herbal supplements to increase my testosterone. Go check that out. And I feel a huge difference I haven't had my blood tested, but I will get my blood tests and I'll share it with you guys in terms of my free testosterone and my total testosterone. All right, thanks for watching this video. Let me know what you think in the comments and we'll see you next time.